Hey everyone, I am back with a new craft haul to share with you. So these are all the usual stores that I go to, uh, plus Amazon. So I'm going to start with the paper pads first so I can get these put down off of here. Found this Garden Charm paper stack at Tuesday morning for $4.99. It's just got some really cute flower patterns and other. Half of it is with UV gloss. So got that one. And then I got the Magic Hour Recollections paper pad. This was when they had it for, what is it, 70% off, 60% off, whatever it is when it's $5. I got that. And then I also got the Stay Magical pad. Okay, so I found these clips designer clips at Tuesday morning. They're popsicles and panda, I think is what that says up there. And so they look like this. They're like plastic little paper clips. The polka dot. There's one with a snail. I thought these would be good for swap swap mail. There's one take a bite. An ice cream. There's one that says picnic love the coolest blue skies there's the floral summer fun it's not focusing very well and then it has yum and then a heart there's one with a cupcake this one's really cute. It says summer and has a panda. Another panda that says chill. Another panda. And then this one with the blue flamingo. Got that. And I got another box of these, oops, these faceted flat back gems. To use for flower centers and I've been getting back into quilling so I picked up one of these precision tip bottles glue bottles so it's got a really nice skinny tip on it perfect for quilling picked up some more of these beads from Dollar Tree to use in shaker cards. And also I've been getting back into jewelry making as well. I've been making a bunch of bracelets. I just made this one recently here. But I love making bracelets. All right. Then I've been buying a lot of dyes lately as well. So this one I found on Amazon. It's a set of two floral dyes. And this is how they turn out. And so you can pop up these little things to make it more dimensional. And for this one, I just cut off this backing that's right here just to give it a different kind of look. And then used the flat back pearls as the centers. So that's that one. This is a tag set that I also bought off of Amazon. I'm a little disappointed in this one. I thought the tags were going to be a little bit bigger, especially this one. I was thinking it was going to be like the size 10 tag, but it's not. It's small. So this is how those cut out. Here's the largest one. The next size, and that one, and then this size, and then the little baby. And it's also got stitching on the sides. So that is that guy set. And I also bought this one from Hobby Lobby. It's the mermaid. So you get the dies and then also an embossing folder. I use my coupon on this one. And here's how this turned out. So I did a blonde mermaid. And I used some glitter paper for her outfit and then put a little flower sticker in her hair. And then here's the 
brunette one. I wanted to do this one as a redhead, but the only paper I have is like bright orange, and so I didn't want her looking like Ronald McDonald. <laughs> so I just went with the brown hair instead and did a flower in her hair as well. And here is the seahorse cut out in glitter paper and a seashell. So that is that die. I picked up some of the Tuesday morning ones that everybody's been hauling. So here's the star. Here's one with numbers. <clears throat> This one is phrases, so you have hello, XOXO, hi, wish, celebrate, love you, congrats, and thanks. And then another set of mermaids and seashells and seahorse. And then I got this one, which is a bunch of letters. I first wasn't going to buy this because they're all together, but then I thought I could just punch out a bunch in different colors and just have them ready for whatever phrase or word I need. And then I did get this one when it was 60% off at Michael's. I also want to get back into doing some mini albums. So I bought this one off of Amazon. It is the Lori Whitlock Essential Mini Album. So you get 15 dies and it comes with all these different elements that you can make your mini album with. So that'll be fun to get back into. Move some of this off of here. I picked up some more tape runner. I was running low on that. All right. So like I said, I've been getting back into quilling again. So I did get a box of these quilling strips. Um, Sorry, my cat is like scratching at the door trying to get in. It's the straight ones. I did buy some of the dimensional ones that make flowers, but I ended up taking them all back. I bought like six or seven boxes of those because they don't have instructions included with them. And so I had to go online on their website and that was still confusing. And the flowers were like teeny tiny when you made them. And it was just so frustrating and so not worth it. So I just took them all back, especially for $2.99. So, but I did keep these. And these are the pearl finish. All right, my Joann's finally got in some of the new Dilusions dialogue things. So I did pick up this book. It is just the backgrounds. And then this stamp set with the little doodle flowers on it. And then I did get this at Tuesday morning, the bird set. I had been looking at this forever at Michael's and Joann's and just never bought it. And so when I saw it at Tuesday morning for $4.99, I just finally bought it. And it comes with a stencil as well. Got some double-sided tape. This is the 1 8 inch. So it's the really thin kind. Got this cute little puffy llama sticker at Michael's. I bought that when it was like a dollar. And I also got some of these stamps off of Amazon. Cute little fox. I love this one with the glasses. And then this one has a bookworm theme. Really cute. Got some of these. Hobby Lobby has their Christmas stickers out already, or their Christmas stuff. And so I picked these up. I just wanted the Cardinals, but I can always use the Holly for Christmas time. And I think I got these 50% off, which they're doing the Paper Studio stuff 50% off right now. So I think I got 50% off that. I also got some of these foam sheets from Dollar Tree to make some shaker cards picked up some more of these notebooks for my monthly daily journaling. This was a set of three for $4.99 and these are the lined pages. I've been using the blank, but the blank ones are so hard to find, so I decided to go with the lined pages this time and try those. 
And I found this book at Meyer. It's a complete the story. So it has they start you off and then you finish writing the story. So I thought that would be fun. I used to write a lot of stories when I was younger. So I wanted to get my creative thoughts flowing again. So I thought this would be good. So and it was on clearance for like three bucks, I think is what I paid. Got some more paint sets. I found this one at Joanne. It's a pearlescent watercolor. And it was either five or six dollars at the time. And I did get another one of these water hood. I love these. They paint so nice. And I use them all the time in my daily journal for my page, my background pages. And so here's my old one. So you can see how much I've used. <laughs> you can tell which colors are my favorite to use. So, and then here I'll show you. This is my June journal. I haven't done the cover yet but I did do the cover page yesterday. We've been so busy. Carson has had soccer tryouts all week, so I haven't had time to do anything. But, so here's, I paint the background pages just so they're ready to go. And I just have to journal and then add my ephemera to it. So that's that, and I will do a separate video on my daily journals. A couple people have requested that I do that, so I'm going to try and do that this weekend and get that up for everybody so you can see how I journal every month. All right, what's left? Got it? Oh, <laughs> big thing. Okay, you guys, I bought another traveler's notebook. This is the Webster's Pages pocket size, and it's really cute. Let me zoom out. Oh, I'm already zoomed out. So this is the pocket one, and I have not set it up yet. I got it a couple weeks ago. I do have a dashboard in there. And this one I bought off of Etsy, and I will put the link down to the shop, but I think it was like three something and you get three different sizes. So you get the A5 size, a personal, and then the pocket size. And you just print them off and however many times you want. So I got that in there. And then these booklets I bought off of Amazon. You got five for, it was like 10 bucks. This folder I got from Michael's. And this is the booklet that comes with it. This is the back of the folder. And then back here, I just have some sticky notes so far. So, but I love this suede. And I think it's called Aspen. But I bought that one off of Amazon. And to go along with that, I picked up some of these notebooks from Michaels. The pocket size. And you get a grid, a blank, and the monthly and weekly. So I got two sets of those. Alright, and I think this is the last thing. I bought this off of Amazon as well. You get 15 different colors of the flat back pearls, and these are the 6 millimeter. And these are what I use for my flower centers. And here is a couple flowers that I have quilled that I used the centers on. So it's like the perfect size for these. All right, so that is it for my haul. And like I said, I'll try and get that other video done this weekend so you guys can see how I do my journals. So anyway, hope you all have been having a great day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.